Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second match of the first round in the inaugural MMPG Pokemon Tournament. We have Grimsley, the Dark Elite Four trainer from Unova, facing off against Skyla, the gym leader from Unova. A battle for the Unova indeed. Uh, this is going to look, this, looking up right here, we got like a nice variety of uh, Pokemon, especially on Skyla's side. It looks like we have some sweepers, maybe some phasers, some things like that, but Grimsley definitely going in as the favorite as being an Elite Four uh, competitor. Definitely has a higher expectations as far as his That's performance right. goes. Grimsley is the favorite to win this matchup, at least, just because of him being the Elite Four trainer, but anything is possible. Absolutely. Anything can happen. Battle. It all depends on who they decide to pick on, pick out first as their first choice uh, for the battle, but it looks like they're getting ready to get started. And we're getting ready to get started, and hopefully everyone out there will enjoy this first. Oh, right off the bat, Powerhouse of Tyranitar. About to use his slipstream right there, but Swana being Swana. thrown out. Very interesting choice interesting by Skyla. Here. But uh, only time will tell who it's going to have. Oh, going off right off the bat with a Scald. Swana going in head first. No burn, unfortunately, it looks like. And right off the bat, oh, a Stone Edge. Powered up by that Sandstorm as well, but... The Focus Sash, keeping the Swana alive, but unfortunately the, Ooh, the sandstorm, sandstorm the sandstorm is going to whittle it down and take it out. So Swana unable to really do any big damage as she was hoping. Looks like Grimsley is setting the field early here by having Weather be part of his offense. This is a this is something you expect to see from Elite Four Trainer. Absolutely. But we don't have either ground or rock type out right now. A jump bluff missing Ooh. a sleep powder. Trying to go for the Tyranitar, but Houndoom was sent out instead, but missing either way. And this is going to look very grim for uh, the uh, the gym leader right now as she sends it out and goes into a Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz being her probably biggest tank option that she has right here, and a Sludge Bomb. Oh, it got the poison and off the poison sludge bomb. status put down on the Mandibuzz from the Houndoom, and the Sandstorm is still doing thrilling damage. Skyla is really having a rough start uh, at this fight right now. And a Thunder Fang. Good. Houndoom is definitely known for its coverage moves, and it looks like uh, Grimsley has come prepared for something like this. All oh, but a Roost from Mandibuzz is keeping it in the game just that much longer, playing off to the fact that it's only a regular poisoning and not a toxic poisoning. Mandibuzz is probably the most tankiest Pokemon that she has. Maybe second to Drift Bloom. I'm not entirely sure what set they are using. Oh, a Fire Blast! Fire Blast definitely does a great deal of damage, but it looks like... Oh, Skyla calls oh. for a nasty plot, trying to set up something over here. It's very interesting what she uh, is trying to do as far as setting up her offense with this Mandibuzz. Oh, but Mandibuzz uh -oh. consuming a Salic Berry, looks like, and its speed has risen. I wonder if it's enough to... But it's not enough to not outspeed enough. The, the Houndoom, and the Houndoom is able to knock out Mandibuzz... Two down for uh, Skyla right now, as Grimsley is taking the lead handedly and holding on to the touch. And we have Archeops, one of the most unique Pokemon that we actually have in this entire tournament. I I'll be honest, I'm not sure why she chose this Pokemon to go with. I don't see the value in it, but I'm oh, a Pokemon trainer. Okay, an tough. Earthquake coming off right off the bat. Archeops is Let really me eat my words. <laughs> Archeops is a very powerful right off the get-go until it's... Loses half of its health, in which case it kind of its defeatist ability kicks in. But the Bisharp, no problem for the Archeops at all. Now we have flying against flying type as Honchkrow gets brought out by Grimsley. And a Stone Edge wow. straight from Archeops, able to one hit KO the Honchkrow. And just like that, the, the Pokemon score is tied. Two four down for each. Four. Grimsley needs to, to figure something out. This was the right choice. All right, here. Exactly what you need to get back into this battle. Absolutely. A Tyranitar setting up the thing right there. And oh, wow. Archeops almost takes it out. Very little health remaining for that Tyranitar, but Tyranitar gets the, the stone, stone Edge. Perfectly well played by, uh, by Grimsley right there with the Tyranitar and able to take out that Archeops no problem. So Skyla is thinking, who is she going to throw out next? Having a sand-powered rock type, it's going to be very difficult. But her best choice right there is probably the jump bluff, as long as it knows some offensive moves. And it goes straight nice. for the bullet seed. Very nicely done, and the Tyranitar is taken out. But that sandstorm is going to continue on uh, just a little bit longer and hopefully uh, hopefully help out uh, Grimsley in the long run. 
Grimsley's probably gonna send out his Hound Doom again just for the uh yes, just for the uh type effectiveness. Good call right there, good call. Uh, well Sky oh and Sky like goes powder. straight for the sleep powder, taking a gamble right there. Very good call at this point of the match. You might as well take all gambles that you can, and Hound Doom has been uh, put to sleep. I don't believe that's an early bird Hound Doom, otherwise uh, I don't think it is, because it would have woken up. More than likely, it would be Flash Fire. But uh, now what's going to happen? Oh, a U-turn uh, okay. coming up from Jump Luff. Question is, who is she going to switch into out of the other two? And it looks like Braviary, Braviary is sent out. That's a good choice. I believe Braviary, Braviary can learn uh, fighting moves exactly the move you want to use against Grimsley. Let's see. Absolutely. But the Sandstorm will whittle it down. Hopefully it doesn't play a big part for the uh, la later half of this match. Oh, and Houndoom able to wake up from its slumber. That actually doesn't spell good for Skyla either. A Thunderfang coming up, doing some more damage to Braviary. But Braviary sets up a superpower. superpower exactly. That's, that is the move right there. But unfortunately, an attack cut and a defense. Oh, but a white herb has actually been placed on the Braviary. So all stat changes have been reset. Which gives Braviary another chance of a full-powered superpower. I feel like Skyla definitely is in the road to victory at this moment. Scrafty being sent out. Grimsley needs to do a lot of work if he wants to win this battle. Scrafty getting... Oh, being attacked by a brave bird. Very interesting call right there. Very mixing up. We were expecting a superpower, honestly. Was. But, you know, it makes more sense since it's also part fighting. That brave bird would probably be the wiser choice. Crocodile going straight for the Intimidate. This is the last uh, Dire Straits for Grimsley, it looks like. Going straight for the Rock Slide, getting the speed advantage, taking Braviary out of action. And now Skyla's left with her last two Pokemon, which I believe is Jump Bluff and a... Drift Bloom? And a Drift Bloom. Yeah, Bloom? Drift Blum? Blim. Drift Blim. That's, that's the term right there. All right. Jump Bluff going up for a uh, Bullet Seed. Skyla if it, needs if this it to hit. hits all five times... It looks like it's my... Oh, only three. Only three, so Crocodile is able to live through it. Going straight for the Rock Slide, super effective. Wow. And now we are tied for the last Pokemon each. Crocodile is definitely hurting right now, but hopefully it'll be enough for Drift Blim to either come back and finish it off, or Crocodile might be able to fend it off. Who knows? It does have type advantage. Goes for the Crunch and immediately... Oh! Oh, and almost faints itself, but holds on. We almost had a double knockout there. But it looks like at the last minute, Crocodile manages to win the match for Grimsley. And wow, that was actually quite that, exciting for sure. What a comeback sure. by Grimsley. The Crocodile taking out three Pokemon to win the battle with 4% health. Wow. The things you see in a Pokemon tournament blows your mind. That only just goes to show that anything can happen in the world of Pokemon and all the battles that take place. It's good. It's excitement right there for sure and Crocodile just is by far easily the player of the game. That, that was the MVP this of this battle. Absolutely. The yep. next battle is going to be Karen versus Roxanne. A match that I am personally excited to see. We hope you're excited as well. Alright, until then folks you guys have a good one and we'll see you then.